hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you how to make super soft pizza dough this is the italian style now you're going to agree with me that if you want to make pizza at home you would need to make the dough first now the problem with it is the fact that sometimes it gets hard it gets too thin it doesn't cook well and all that so today i'm going to show you the secrets that italians use in making their pizza so perfect now you're gonna agree with me that if a pizza is good it depends on the dough it's like the basic building block so today i'm going to show you all the secrets and without wasting much time let's just get started now to start obviously you're gonna use some yeast okay and now i have here mother yeast okay this is a better option as compared to powdered yeast this is cheap and you can get it from any supermarket so i'm gonna put the mother yeast in a glass or a plastic container mind you do not use an aluminium container okay and with mother yeast you would have to activate it so i'm gonna come in with one teaspoonful of sugar then i'm gonna come in with warm water it should be lukewarm it shouldn't be too hot or else you're gonna kill the bacteria then afterwards i'm gonna cover it up with a plastic wrap and i'm gonna leave it in a warm undisturbed place now you should know if it is summer the reaction time is going to be shorter but if it is winter it's going to take some more time to react okay so after about 30 minutes you know it has been activated and as you can see there is you know some kind of foam on top of the liquid so it is ready to be used now i'm gonna get my piece of flour this is about 300 crumbs then i'm gonna come in with a pinch of salt to taste then i'm gonna give it a little mix to distribute the salt evenly now I'm going to come in with about 3 tablespoons full of olive oil. Then keep on mixing. So now I'm going to come in with my activated yeast. And I'll mix it up. Now it's time for me to come in with my fingers. Then I'm going to add room temperature water as I mix with my hands. Now I'm going to add the water a little bit at a time because I don't want to overdo it. Now when it gets to this consistency, then it's time to stop adding the water. So if you have a machine, the better. But if you don't have it, you're going to use your fingers just like me. And the longer you need, the better. I'm going to do this for about 10 to 15 minutes. So after about 15 minutes of kneading, this is it. And I have made it into a very nice bowl. So I'm going to cover it up with a plastic wrap and leave it alone for about two to three hours. It is better if you can leave it alone for, you know, overnight, but we don't have time. So we can just do two to three hours. So after about three hours, this is what we have here. And as you can see, it has risen. Now I'm just going to get rid of the plastic cover and get ready to, you know, mold it. So I'm going to sprinkle some flour on a baking paper. Then I'm going to come in with my dough. Now I'm going to divide this dough into two because it's for two. Now girls, rule number one, do not use a rolling pin. You will never see Italians using rolling pin for their pizza doughs. This is because as it rises, there is, you know, air bubbles inside. And if you use a rolling pin, it is going to get rid of all the air bubbles inside and it's going to end up making your pizza dough very hard. Now, what they do is use your fingers to, you know, mold it. And you're going to need some more time and patience to do this. But at the end of the day, it's going to come out great. So as you can see, I'm using my fingers to kind of, you know, open it up. And I'm doing it from the center outwards. So basically, the center is going to be thinner as compared to the outer part.
So when it gets a little larger, it is time for the second part. I'm going to get my baking pan ready. I'm going to sprinkle some flour on it. This is going to prevent the, you know, the dough from sticking to the pan when you put it in the oven. And this is when you're going to use a fist or your palm to kind of stretch it out. Then I'm going to continue stretching my, you know, dough. So as you can see, I'm stretching from the inside out. I'm trying to make the, you know, the inside part, the center become thinner. Now, this is because when you put it in the oven, you know, it takes longer for the heat to get to the center as compared to the outer part. And if it's not thinner, it's going to take a longer time to cook. And whilst it's cooking inside, the outer part is going to burn. Another thing that could happen is that, you know, the outer part is going to be cooked well and the inner part is going to remain uncooked and you don't want that. You need some more time and some patience to do the stretching. When you go to the pizzerias, you see them, you know, throwing it around in the sky and, you know, throwing inside some blows and all that is really, really interesting. Okay, so after stretching, 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 this is what we have here and I'm going to put it in my baking pan. Now, afterwards, I'm going to stretch it out some more. Mind you, do not push the dough down. Just stretch it up like you're stretching some, you know, piece of cloth. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we have here. Our pizza dough is ready. And this is how to make pizza dough the Italian style. I hope you like it and I hope you are going to give it a try. Don't forget to subscribe if you've not subscribed. Don't forget to share this with your family and friends. And don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Until next time, I'm going to show you another nice and interesting one. Bye-bye.